Children stand in front of the school gate. They seem eager to be here. When the teacher gives the signal, the children rush in. They actively begin to line up in an orderly manner. In less than half an hour, the field, smaller than a football field, is full of nearly 4,000 children. Children who can't find a place in line on the field stand in any available space or along the steps at the edge of the field. This is Samata Shiksha Nikatan School, renowned as the Bamboo School in Kathmandu, Nepal. The school probably has the highest density of children per square meter that we've ever seen. You may not be surprised though, when you know the key feature of this school. All subjects are taught in English for an astonishingly affordable monthly tuition fee of just one dollar. My children and my uh, people, uh, they uh, really want to go abroad. So if they get the education, English medium education, they can adjust themselves easily. I, I believe like this. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, uh, I, I am, yeah, your question is, um, um, who inspire you, you know? Inspire myself, because I am very local of this Kathmandu, but uh, I could not go to uh, the private school that time. And I have that pain, you know. So if I don't get the uh, English education, so why not I will providing English education easily for the uh, uh, children? In circumstances where individuals are compelled to undergo competitive entrance exams for prestigious schools at a young age, numerous public schools find it challenging to keep up with global standards. Meanwhile, private institutions charge such exorbitant tuition fees that a year's tuition could equate to a down payment on a family car. A school charging only one dollar per month and offering English language courses is a dream for many. We visually estimated the size of the school. The school compound is approximately the size of a football field. At its center is an open courtyard and on three sides of it is a U-shaped single-story building made of bamboo, chosen for its ease of construction and affordability. The room's walls consist of bamboo frames lined with thin wooden panels while the floor is simply dirt. The tables and chairs look shabby and are covered in scratch marks. The most modern piece of equipment in the room is an old whiteboard. Can you explain like very simple way to me like you know what you're gonna do here? Yes, we take different salts and then take what? Different salts. Okay. And uh -huh. And then we mix it with different chemicals that we have here. Uh -huh. And then we um, decide which kind of precipitate is it is. How is affecting my life? Um, it's actually a salt, different kinds of salt. For example, uh, we use um, normal salt like iodine salt that you we do you know common salt? Yeah. Do you use common salt? White salt. Oh, yeah, yeah, for eating. Yeah, yeah, those, th that is one of the type of salt, right? Okay. And then we uh, taste different types of salt, like this is ammonium carbonate salt, which is also one type of salt, right? Okay. And then we taste it with different chemicals, okay. and then we decide what kind of radical it is made from. For example... The student speaks English fluently, almost like a native speaker, with great self-confidence and clarity in what she says. All of us know that English is a global language. It is an international language. If you want to communicate with other uh, people from other countries like you and I are having, uh, we, we have to understand English. We have to know how to talk in English. We have to understand um, how English is spoken. So yeah, this school emphasizes that because um, English is really important uh, throughout your life. And sometimes you might have to um, apply for jobs or things like that and the first thing you need to have is English so proper English is what is the best uh, eligible thing or skill that you should have in this generation so this is school really emphasizes um, proper English as well Pemba had previously attended another private school despite their family's modest financial situation her parents are prepared to face the challenges driven by their desire for their children to receive the finest education available. Were you sad to be pulled out from the uh, previous boarding school? I literally cried. I didn't even sleep for a day, for a night. 
And then I was so nervous. I had never known how this school uh, looked like. I expected the school to be a little bit poorer uh, in terms of the education as well. So I was really upset about it. And then the first time I got a visit here, I talked to, my, uh, talked to the teachers and they were really uh, open and close. And um, the first uh, day here was amazing. And then I, I realized the teachers were amazing. The quality of education is amazing. And uh, I felt happy. Here, there's nothing resembling her previous school. Yet, amidst the overcrowding and dusty air, the girl discovers things she hadn't experienced at her previous school. Uh, this school doesn't create the environment of me missing a previous school. I mean, um, I'm very happy that I uh, got to study in this kind of um, environment because the um, teachers are really good, my friends are good. So it doesn't matter if the classrooms is, are is sophisticated or not. It doesn't matter um, whether the classrooms are clean or not. I mean, all that matters is education and the company that you have. I don't need sophisticated classrooms, um, nice facilities, etc. Um, all I need is a good company, a good company from my friends, a good support from my teachers, and nice education facilities, and that's all. The attitude of the 12th grade student causes us to reflect on the true essence of what a school should actually be. It might not require a beautiful uniform, a large school building, or a modern classroom. In addition to receiving a monthly tuition fee of $1 each from the students, the school is supported by volunteer teachers and donations from overseas. The bamboo structure serves the dual purpose of shielding students from the elements while also providing an open play area. All financial resources are allocated exclusively to the children's educational needs. The school day is divided into two sessions. Morning classes from 6am to 9am cater to students in grades 10 to 12. Once this session ends, younger students take their turn, continuing their lessons until around noon. Students, especially the younger ones, appear cheerful, even though they are crowded into the room. Some rooms are so crowded that students spill out, sitting and studying in front of the room or along the steps. This school is overflowing with students, leaving no space unused, because the school has a policy of accepting every child who applies. There are no strict admission criteria, as the school's philosophy holds that every child deserves an equal opportunity for an education. Uh, actually, we didn't have any criteria to choose the students, because we didn't select them. Uh, it's all, we are collecting the students. So you never refuse any student? Till today, we didn't have refused any students to enroll their name in our school. No matter how much they're poor or rich. We didn't categorize any students according to their economic status and we didn't have any measuring machines to know how, how much they are poor or how much they are rich. These days we just tell this is the school and education for all. Younger children are a group on which schools don't yet place great priority in their teaching. Some of these kids can often be seen playing freely outside the classrooms. The school actually focuses on academic instruction for students in grades 10 to 12, as they are approaching the time when they have to take the national examinations. What is all about? Uh, mosquitoes. So, a biology? Yeah. yeah. Mosquitoes are uh, life cycle. Or life cycle or uh -huh. is that fun to learn in English? Yeah. <laughs> is that difficult to learn in English? Little. A little bit. But look like you're doing fine. So you read and all your books are in English? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. So you prepare for the exam. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. The children didn't seem upset about having to sit shoulder to shoulder because something more important awaited them outside this old classroom. Some children tell us that they want to be teachers, some want to be doctors. As the last student left the school for the evening, we accompanied Pemba back to her home. When it's raining, I carry my umbrella and then I walk to school. When it's cold, I put on my warm clothes and then go to school. So, on foot. It doesn't foot. really matter, yeah. 
What about at the old school? You walking there? Yeah, I used to so walk there. So this is your house? Too. Yeah, this is my house. Welcome to nice. my house. Thank you. <laughs> she doesn't get additional tutoring because of the high cost, and she has to cook for her grandmother and younger brother. After taking care of her family members, she takes some time to relax before <laughs> studying. She intends to perform well in the national exams as she did last year, especially in English, because her dream is to work with foreign news agencies. The first thing is I would love to see my parents happy. And that's my first and foremost dream. Where did you see yourself in the future? Where, what do you want to be? Um, what do you want? What I? What do I want to be? I really want to be a reporter. I, I really want to be in television. I really want to, you know, improve my speaking skills. And and through my reporting, I would love to, you know, bring some changes in societies because and there are so many misconceptions in our societies. I I would really love to change that through my reporting. So yeah, that's that's what I would like to do in my future. In an era when education is both competitive and costly. The poor often start at a disadvantage. This bamboo school is a beacon of hope. Although not all students at the school are outstanding or talented, what is special is that they'll get a chance to realize and maximize their potential. Regardless of whether these students study aimlessly or diligently, pass or fail their exams, their future, bright or gloomy, is in their hands. It doesn't depend on family status, a brand new classroom, or a state-of-the-art laboratory. Rather, the philosophy of the $1 school is for just $1, you can become whatever you want to be. If you want to see more great content from all over the world, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.